Howdy. Uh, unearthing petrified clay is what's going on here. I was somehow cleaning up the yard and I noticed that there's another rock. So I thought I would take a professionally made video of the activity. These are the same patterns like in the other rocks too. And the millions of mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, you cannot really relax. Very interesting. Very interesting, a repetitive pattern. That's now the fourth rock in this same yard with similar patterns. And I think this is petrified clay, but that's just what I think. But now to something interesting. So since the application doesn't really work, I have to make a screenshot and we have to make it like that. There is warnings in Finland about thunderstorms and rain. Green, there's nothing going on. Yellow, probably something going on. Orange, dangerous. Red, very dangerous. Now I'm somewhere here in the dangerous region. That's from, I don't know, this night on two days or something. <clears throat> they are warning people about extreme weather. And he didn't respond to me either. <laughs> so let's have a quick look at Windy. Windy Raider. 12 hours. Or 12 hours and 5 minutes. We got 5 minutes for free. Check it out. Yeah, I was thinking about that. that about the polarity. There has been now. Uh, this high pressure system here. Many times. Kursk magnetic anomaly. Surface conductivity anomaly. And now. Uh, obviously. How to put it, the polarity has changed. And there could be something going on in the next hours. Interesting. Let's see what's left of our garden after that. If there's anything happening. 
does the plasma rock side work uh, still repellent towards this kind of weather systems or does it not because there is evidence in the plasma rock side that there has been some really extreme weather ones plasma discharge events and such things so the possibility is really there and this seems to be heading straight at us I'm here and it's coming yes bring it on it's weather you cannot do anything about it so let's see maybe that's the last video I ever do <laughs> get struck by a lightning strike who knows Vatican is burning and such things do we see anything here? Maybe we should check out fire intensity map. Do we have it here? Just for the science. No, there is no fire in Rome. But there's fire in the Southern Alps. And a poor region, which is drying up. And in the, what, lake is burning. Switzerland, I don't know what's going on there. Luzern is burning, Solothurn. Pile dwellings are burning too. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? We are really close to the Lach Lake volcanic place in Germany, you know that. But no. Zarluis? Books? Brickingen? It might be actually more in this direction. I don't know. I don't try to search it now. Anything else? Yeah, let's check out the quakes. Maybe there is something. That's interesting that there is some fire in Rome. I made videos back in the days. What, two years ago or something? One and a half years? I don't remember. It was before Eastern. Which is a really, really important time for the Christians. When the Pope had to go to Uruk. Is it in... Where is it? Iraq? Iran? Maybe? I'm not really sure. But uh, I think he brought back the keys. Maybe he figured out to check out the calendar and notice that yeah, the cycle is over. The earthquake swarm in central Italy is actually still ongoing. Four hours, six hours. But there's not too much going on, but nonetheless... Let's check out the north still. Yeah, here's also some activity, obviously. San George? Yes. San George. 29 minutes ago. Azores, 8 kilometers in depth. And... 30 minutes ago. Zero kilometers in depth. Or however you spell that word. Anything here in the north? Nothing. How come there's never any quakes here? Really fascinating. Now that's a quake region, but here up in the north, Siberian traps, nothing, almost never, which might change. Here's some deeper activity going on. 
15 hours ago, 65 kilometers. So it's now. At least I wanted to see. 59. Yeah, but I think I'll leave it here. There would be so much other stuff to talk about. There's volcanic eruptions and stuff going on in Kamchatka, Alaska. Buzzard Creek, tough rings, dormant. It won't let me see that. Ah. Eruption style, unspecified. Last eruption, 1050 BC. Which would make about 3,000 years, you just say it. What is it, quarter harmonic? And check it out! Four kilometers in depth. That's a red one. That's an orange one. 23 kilometers in depth and... Check it out, check it out, check it out. The White River. <laughs> so let's do it like that. Let's just follow it. Where does it come from? Does it go north? It starts probably here. Do they speak French there? Maybe. Braided River. Yeah, this seems to be frozen. It might have also a name, I guess, but they won't tell it. There yeah, are many white rivers. Many. They're all over the place. I bet that's not ice, that's sediments. Eruptive material. So there is like dry dry creek Dort Lake. Tanana. Tanakros Tok. Tetlin. Tetlin Lake. Look at that. We have to go to Google Earth. Tetling. Census designated place in Alaska. What does that mean? Yeah, Indians, you can stay here if you just shut up and do whatever we tell you. I don't know. Probably I don't want to. No. If you can avoid the rise of anger, do it. If it rises, Use the energy for something useful. Do gardening work, cook, or something else. And that's really a fascinating place. Really peatish in nature. Is that a road? No. Kalukna. Kalukna River. Which seems to be white, actually. Really strange. Gasoline Lake. <laughs> ah, yeah. Natalmund Lake. Tetlin Lake. 
Here we have it. Map style, everything. Do we have any information about that? No. Nothing to click on. Yeah. Anyone watching this video living there? <laughs> Probably not. So let's Google for Tetling Lake. So here we are at Google Tetling Lake. Lake in Alaska. Add photo. Web results. Tetling Lake, Alaska. Wikipedia. Upper Tanana, Atabaskan. A census designated place. Southeast Fairbanks Census Area, Alaska, United States. Wildlife Refuge. <clears throat> the National Wildlife Refuge was established in 1980 to conserve and manage habitat critical to migratory and resident wildlife for benefit of present and future generations. The refuge, 730,000 acres. Include snow-capped mountains and glacier-fed rivers, forests and treeless tundra, and abundance of wetlands. Remember when I once told you that many of those wildlife or national park things are these kind of places where people really can't do much or it's too expensive to do anything? Maybe this my uh, this kind of Yukon River. Two of the six known humpback whitefish spawning areas of the Yukon River drainage are located within the refuge. Grayling, mm. Northern Pike. No history. Education, Alaska. Decennial census. This sounds really pervert. <laughs> yeah, there's not too much knowledge about that lake. But I probably have seen there's something going on anyway. Where was it? There was some kind of activity. Tetlin. Just an airport. Maybe. An airport in the middle of nowhere. Ah, now we get somewhere. Now we get somewhere. The mining. Landfill access road. <clears throat> A wide river. Where was the other place? There was another one. No. Maybe not. Church Road. <laughs> oh, yeah. And big white rivers, what's going on here? Mm, not really visible, is it? No. Anything of interest here? More craters. Let's put north, north. Let's see, do we end up at a glacier with this white river? I guess we do. I cannot even talk as fast as I find the things. The evidence about this is so overwhelming. Isn't there really any better quality?
These look like sedimentary streams. Yeah, once they have been glaciers, I know. But they are white rivers after some time. Robertson River. Hey, Mrs. Robertson. Turquoise water, which might indicate gypsum in the water. Which indicates it would be... What? What? Yeah. If anyone would ask me what I think this is, I would say that's a mud volcano eruption site. Or a cryptodome eruption, cryptogazier eruption, which includes very much water. And this is just obviously on top of this old glacier. Oh, <laughs> what a find! Yeah, I think I leave it here. I found something. I didn't know if I find anything, but I think that's really interesting. I tried to put the coordinates down, as you can check it out by yourself. Tell your mom. Thanks.